Here's another form of indexing. It's called router carriage travel indexing. And what we're going to do, I've got a three inch core, the board I'm going to be routing, and then I also have a one inch router bit. Okay, so we've got the one inch router bit right here, a one inch rope. I got it on a four inch pitch. So that means there's going to be four starts in order for this thing to work. Now, instead of constantly changing and checking in and checking out the actual lumber itself, what we're going to do is we're actually going to be relying on the router carriage travel to give us our indexed point. Now, this is on a woodchuck that actually has a motor on it, a drive motor. So over here, I've got my stop. So when this travels forward, it gets to that point, it's going to stop. So our main stock is actually 16 inches. We're set on a four inch pitch. So a multiple of fours, we've got, you know, eight, 12, 16, and 20. So I'm gonna come one router bit length off of 20, which is a odd number. One is an odd number. 17 would be three. So, you know, one, two, three, and then four, I'm right back on my start again. So I gotta go an odd number. So I went to 19. So when I bring my router carriage back to 19 inches, my wood is going to be missed by my router bit. So I can just come, come straight down and I'll miss everything. So I can just get started that way. So if every time, if we started here, always right here, and we always end up against the micro switch, we're always gonna be exactly where we need to be every single time, it can't help it. So let's go ahead and make our first cut. Okay, you can see that our first cut and our second cut are exactly an inch apart. And then the next time we go back, it's going to be one more inch and then one more inch and then we're done. So we just keep returning, returning, returning until we're 100% covered. But that's how you make sure that you can stay, stay indexed using the carriage return length rather than adding and removing and realigning and a bunch of messing around with the actual stock. I hope this helps.